Got a non-binary relationship here. This is for a ternary relationship, and this is where we have three entities. Previously, we've only dealt with two, and we're not going to be looking at this too much because we're not dealing with more than a binary entity for this material, but this is good to look at. So we have one entity, which is our supplier. We have our S name for this, which is its key. And then we have many of these. We then have a part number for the part, we also have many of these, and then we have a mini projects, and that's K, so we have many of these as well. Then we have the supply right here. So the supplier, part, and project are going to be related to our supply. An attribute of supply is going to be the quantity. Now we can't link quantity to your supplier or the part or the project because these are not the full, we've talked about this um, previously, it's not the full total participation. If we want an attribute that goes to a relationship to go to an entity, it has to be a full participation. If it's partial participation, we've gone over this previously with our attributes of relation types, types it won't work. And so this has partial participation, meaning that the attribute here has to go to our supply, and this makes sense. It doesn't have total participation for any of these because the supplier part and project all need to be related together for this. And this is a ternary relationship. That's going to be it for our non-binary relationship coverage. It will be the same if we had like more entities as well. Next we're going to be putting all of our material together and look at one large graph.